Dude, if you see what I've seen right now, no, seriously, pull over, pull over. This is the mysterious case of Andrew Dawson, a creator who some people believe was killed by the CIA hey! over a series of videos of a mysterious creature and phenomena he posted on TikTok. You might not see me post ever again. My videos weren't, they weren't fake. Andrew's disappearance remains a mystery up until now, even though his death was announced last year. Were these videos real? Was the government hiding something and that's why Andrew had to be silent? Really? Oh, that was f***ed up. These are the final hours before Andrew's mysterious disappearance. It all started on April 9th, 2022. Andrew was filming while he was inside a moving car with a friend, and he caught on camera what seemed to be a person. But it was too big to be a normal person. Andrew called it a giant. It's a person, dude. No, seriously, pull over, pull over. It's a person standing there. No, it's not. Dude, if you've seen what I've seen right now... After only two days, this video got over 2 million views, with many people bashing Andrew, saying it's fake. So two days later, he posted another video to explain... Do you see how far away it is? How far I have to zoom? Do you know how hard it is to keep a steady hand? If this video blows up, or somebody buys me a friggin' helicopter to get all the way up there... From there, he made a commitment to investigate what it was. So the video is blowing up, a lot of you say I have Parkinson's, blah blah blah. I'm gonna try to go closer and find a better angle. Or somebody can rent me a helicopter and I'll try to find it. Or maybe blow the videos up and maybe I can get sponsored. A helicopter company can sponsor me to go up there, I don't know. But I'll try to hold the camera better, okay? You try to hold the camera on the zoom like that. On April 12th, he went on another road trip to try and find this creature. We are on our way. We're gonna go find somewhere closer. And I'm gonna set my camera on something so you guys aren't complaining how shaky it is in the truck. But that's the mountain we're going to. But we're just gonna try to get closer. He always kept his curious followers updated. Okay, I'm gonna use this as a tripod to try to keep it steady for you guys. And it's not even there anymore too. That's where it was yesterday. I spoke to some locals and it comes and goes apparently, I don't know. But things got weirder when someone tried to stop him. I just got stopped by like some CIA agent. He told me to turn around, said I'm trespassing. I said it's a, it's a public freaking, it's a public area. But he didn't give up because he got help from locals. Some local told me to take this path. I didn't get it on camera, but I'm gonna go again tomorrow and be prepared to be filming right now because he stopped the vehicle, his truck was blocking it. From that point on, he became even eager to find out what it was, not realizing that this was a risk. I don't get it. It was awkward, but I'm going back again tomorrow to see if he's not there. But if he is there, I will keep camera. I will film because the only angle I could get that I found today is the one I just posted earlier. And it, there wasn't even anything there. But I don't understand why the road's blocked off. So the next day, he woke up really early to try and spot the creature again. I woke up actually early today. We're actually going to go on an adventure. It's currently 5.30 in the morning. I'm going to see if he's there early in the morning and see if I can get up a little bit. That's the one. All right. Let's go. He didn't see the creature he was looking for, but he did see something else. What the f is that? And more strange happenings in the area. So they're extracting something out of here. There's two helicopters. Until the person who stopped him before whom he said was an agent stopped him again this time. The guy's here again. What's going on? Road's closed. Turn around. Really? Yeah, man. Just, just turn around. Oh, okay. So oh, that was f up. There it is, I'm driving past him again. Just turned around. I don't understand why it's closed off though. It's a f public park or public road or whatever. And things got even weirder when on April 16th, a few days later, he realized that he was being followed by the same car that stopped him before. So that's the same vehicle. Hey! After this video, people who followed him got alarmed because they didn't hear from him for the next three weeks. May 6th. By this time though, there was something different about Andrew, something suspicious. It wasn't a usual selfie video update. He was standing in front of a blank wall and it kind of looked like someone was watching him from behind the camera. Hey guys, I just want to give you an update. I'm not dead. 
I have not disappeared. Uh, I have just been busy with life. I couldn't get around to posting and updating you guys. So now, now I'm going to give you an official update of what's been going on. Sorry to disappoint you guys, but all of the videos that I post, all the videos that I posted were scripted. They were just fake. They were just strictly for entertainment. Uh, sorry to disappoint you guys. I just need to give you a quick update. People took notice on how he looked scared. And then a true plot twist. Ten days later, he posted another video with the caption, too much has happened and I cannot be forced to be silent. You might not see me post ever again. My videos weren't, they weren't fake. The next day, Andrew posted another update. A video of something he saw on the mountains again. What is that? That was not there yesterday. And that was his final video ever. No one heard from Andrew again. Until on July 1st, 2022, an obituary of him was seen in an online newspaper called Campbell River Mirror. And there's definitely more to this story. Andrew's series of conspiracy videos got millions of views. So people started investigating him. And so did we. Going back to our questions, were these videos real? Was the government hiding something and that's why Andrew had to be silenced? Remember the video that started it all? The giant video? While some people say they saw mysterious creatures in the same mountain, in reality this was most likely a tower. It's just he was taking the video from a different angle and that is why he didn't see it again on his next videos. This military he was talking about was a part of a ski lift operator. And the helicopters? Well, it was a forested area and helicopters roaming around to check on it was a normal thing. Could it be possible that Andrew didn't know about these things or he knew and he still made these videos to create some conspiracy. And finally, the obituary was posted on July 1st, 2022, 7 a.m. Some people say it was too early to post since he died on the same day. And if you check the site, you'll find out that anyone can post an obituary without even providing a death certificate. And this exact fact leads to some people believing that Andrew could still be alive. However, Unfortunately, at least two people confirmed his death. And one of them said that it was because Andrew got so depressed that he decided to take his own life. Now, for almost a year, no one said they saw him. So, he might really be gone. The question remains, why is he gone? The whole story is incredibly complicated and we can only hope that Andrew is okay. Because whether this story is real or not, one thing remains the same. Risking your life for some TikTok videos will never be worth it.